Ubisoft, oh Ubisoft, oh how I hate you more than EA now. So following the Assassin's Creed Unity system requirements, which were a 680, not for the recommended for the minimum requirements, a 680, an Nvidia 6 bloody 80, and for the recommended graphics card, an Nvidia 780 and an R9 290X. Like, that is just way too high for any game. Just look at Battlefield 4, Frostbite 3. They only required an NVIDIA 660 for the recommended settings. That is less powerful than your minimum settings. So it just confuses me that you decide you're going to have the minimum as a 680. Then you go on about console parity. 30 frames per second on all platforms. So it's all the same to, like, get rid of all the debate and stuff. So if I'm just saying the minimum requirements for the PC is a 680, then how the hell are you going to get it to run on the bloody PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One? You're going on about console parity and stuff. The 680 is like 30-40% more powerful than the bloody next-gen consoles. They go on about console parity, so obviously this can only mean one thing. Bad coding. They obviously cannot code for the PC. Sure, if they like actually focused on PC instead of just the next generation consoles, maybe they could actually make a good port which doesn't require such hardware. Just look at Watch Dogs Ubisoft. Did you not learn anything from Watch Dogs? Obviously not, because you obviously can't code for the PC. Just just look at the requirements, god damn you. Just look at the god damn requirements. They're so high. Battlefield 4 I've said only required a 660 for recommended. If EA could at least make a decent port to the PC, well actually the launch of Battlefield 4 was a bit buggy, but it's all fine now, and the requirements were n nowhere near as high as Assassin's Creed. Nowhere near as high. If you decided to actually code for the PC properly, instead of just focusing on the next generation consoles, you actually make more money, would you believe it? Because if you're gonna just only have the PC market of the game only open to people people with higher tier hardware instead of people on a budget. If you open the game to people on a low budget, people on PC with a low budget PC are gonna go out and buy because they know they can run the game okay and they're gonna have a nice experience. The PC market is actually a good source of your income and will be a bigger source of your income if you decide to actually code it right and open it up to more people with a lower budget PCs as I said that before. Ubisoft, you want to make money? Then code the PC properly. There's lots of people on the PC and if you open it up to people on the lower budget you're gonna make more money simple as that there's only one explanation for high requirements these high requirements bad coding that's what it can be because they're going about console parity has to be the same on the PC as it does on the next generation consoles the next generation consoles are much less powerful than the 680 it's bad coding you really need to get your shit together Ubisoft seriously anyway guys I'm MLC hope you enjoyed this video like it's appreciate down below and thank you for lasting through this little rant and stuff. There will be more videos to come when I'm actually talking about happy topics and stuff. Anyway guys, I'm MLC. Hope to see you in another video and goodbye.